I had no ocean experience, no sailing experience, really. But one day, I just felt like my life was a bit stagnant. I tired of the guys I was dating. They were all university types, all far too serious. And I just decided I wanted to buy a sailboat and um, learn about sailing. Long story short, I met Larry, who was a uh, charter captain at the time. We started chatting, and he was building a boat, a sailboat. And I moved in with him three days later and helped him build his boat. I was born in Detroit, Michigan, and uh, grew up in California, just north of Los Angeles in the desert. I actually was sort of a desert rat. I first met Larry on our, on our first real date, because we actually did date for three days. He was explaining to me about this boat he was building, and it was just an amazing afternoon of learning about his dream. And as I was saying goodbye, I said, you just showed me a wonderful, wonderful day. I just had a great day. And he says, well, stick with me, baby, and you'll go a long way. Well, he lived up to that promise. <laughs> he really did. I was young. I was 20. I wanted adventure. It was a huge change, but it was an exciting change because first I was learning to build things, learning to sail, but I was doing something that was exactly what I dreamed of doing when I grew up. I just wanted to be different, and being at sea and learning to sail a boat was different and, of course, led to amazing adventures. But always we learned to watch out for each other, make each other look good. and. He showed me that right from the beginning, from the first day I met him. That was his attitude towards having a partner. We paid for our adventures right from the beginning by delivering boats for other people. Larry was a very good rigger. There's always people needing repairs to their boats as you're sailing. And that's how we did it for the first several years, my writing then kicked in, and then Larry started writing some technical articles about sailing. The joke that we always used to say is that I told the stories and he told the truth. Larry wrote very practical articles and how to, in fact, he wrote a complete book on boat building, which I did all the editing for. But I wrote the narrative stories, but then Larry was always backing me up with the technical advice, and that's what made our books work for the sailors. Over 45 years, we sailed the equivalent of three times around the world, 75 different countries. We actually worked in 19 different countries, restoring boats, doing boat repairs. It couldn't have been better. After about 20 years of sailing together, we sailed into New Zealand just to visit friends down here. We'd never been to New Zealand before. And uh, it just enchanted us. And we actually came down to Kawao Island to join in on the anniversary regatta. And the night after we got here, a westerly gale blew in. We sailed around to North Cove to get protection from the wind. And the next morning, Larry looked around and he said to me, Lynn, if I could find a little piece of land in this cove where there was just some room to do some boat building, it would be perfect for when we decide to retire someday. And three months later, we found this place. He bought me a little 15-foot day sailor as a keeler. It's a little Matt Hershoff keeler that I enjoy sailing around here. But Larry's, uh, unfortunately, at the age of 78, has had to go into care. His memory has gone pretty badly. But, you know, six months before, when his mind was still better and with it, I said to him, don't you wish we could go on one more adventure, be planning one more crazy stunt. And he says, that would be downright greedy. Of course, I wish Larry could have continued past his 77 years 
being my partner full time, but not many people had 48 years of just about the perfect partner. <laughs> <laughs>